What up, you guys? Slim here, Team Purple Panda, back with the card discussion video on a card that I have overlooked uh, recently and now see that it has potential uh, with the release of X Seed Monsters. For people who don't know what I'm talking about, the card is Wiseman's Chalice. A lot of people probably don't remember this card, so, um, or refresh your memory if you don't remember. Uh, really cool card. It came in uh, D Rev. Of course, we wouldn't remember it. We were looking for what? Just Solemn Warning and Pot of Duality. You know, two, two no big deal cards. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> you guys know I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was the whole point of buying D Rev. But for people of you, uh, those of you who don't know what it is, it's a normal spell card. I believe it's a super rare. And it says, if you control no monsters, select one monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summon it. During the end phase of the turn, give control of that special summon monster to your opponent. The monster cannot be tributed or uses a synchro material monster while it's face up on the field. Okay. So basically, you it's like a monster reborn, but you have to give the monster back to your opponent. And you can't synchro with it, and you can't tribute it from Monarch. So, uh... People are wondering, you know, why is this card good? Like, why am I doing a card discussion on this, besides the fact that it was requested? Uh, I was, you know, doing some research on it, like I do for all my videos, and it's actually really good, uh, especially with the release of Exceeds. Uh, the card clearly reads, cannot be used as a Synchro Material Monster. Hmm. Uh, I don't think Exceeds require a Synchro Material Monster. That's right, exactly. That's why Wiseman's Chalice definitely deserves a card discussion. This card could end up be, uh, being side decked, if not mained in certain decks, because it has the potential to make uh, exceed monsters. You take the monster, you summon another monster, you exceed summon. Ridiculous. That's one of the broken things that it does. Uh, other things you could do with these, you can combo it really well with uh, Cyber Valley or. Uh, you can go, you know, go Black Rose Dragon, blow up the field, and then, you know, it's basically, like I said, it's like a Monster Reborn, which is really cool. So, um, you know, it does have potential. Uh, it's a good choice, they say, for mirror match against Gladiator Beasts. Uh, since you can special summon a Gladiator Beast from your opponent's graveyard, attack with it, and send it back to their deck for your Gladiator Beast, uh, that combo right there is really broken. So imagine it, you know, you, uh, you know, you, say you, um... Wiseman's Chalice back, oh, I don't know, Darius. Go Darius attack, hit for 17, tag it back out to your opponent's deck, and then you summon in a quest, or you summon something that you need to get a chariot, or summon Bestiari, set up your plays. Uh, ridiculous. Really good card in a GB mirror match. Uh, clearly overlooked by a lot of players. I know a lot of pro players who do know about this card, so I'm uh, just, you know, spreading the word about it. Um... Other combos that it does, uh, which are really cool, its preferred choice would be, you know, you get Geysaris, Zyz you can destroy two cards when it's special summoned, and then you can tag it out for two Gladiator Beasts, and it gives you a ridiculous advantage. Uh, they're saying, you know, it can be used for other things, but the key things I see that this card is really good for is the Gladiator Beast Mirror Match and Exceed Summons. With Exceeds getting so big uh, now, I feel that Wiseman's Chalice is an excellent side deck option if you know you're going to Exceed a lot, or if you are a GB player and you want to try out something really cool. Because if you're going to play in a Mirror Match, just think about it. You Special Summon, Gladiator Beast, Swing, Tag it out, bring out your own. Ridiculous. Your opponent gets no advantage. You get the plus off it. Really cool card. Um, that's basically all I need to cover on it. Uh, it's a really cool card. Like I said, it's a super from D-Rev, if you guys don't know. Uh, has a lot of potential in this upcoming format, and I'm sure I'll encounter it, if not use it myself. So uh, that's all i got to say. Once again, thank you, Mr. Yugi Man 123 for this card uh, discussion idea. I uh, hope this helps and answers your questions, and thank you for watching.